If you want to know how you can turn scrap wood into a $150 baseball bat, then stay tuned till the end. This is Ray Whitby Creations, which must make me Ray Whitby. My son is part of the Boys Brigade Eastbourne 3rd Division, and a couple of their members knew of my YouTube channel and wanted to know if I could do something special for them. They had a Boys v Parents baseball game coming up and had a few days in which to get it done. So this is an easy woodworking and easy wood turning project. I mean, the skill level required is suitable for a competent beginner. And in this video, there's going to be a face reveal. I don't think my face has actually been in any of the video shots to date, um, but there's no getting away from it this time. So you better click the like button now before you're disappointed. I am blessed to work in a woodworking charity, which means we get quite a lot of donations, and not all of it's useful, and sometimes there's also leftovers from client projects. So if the pieces are too gnarly or grotty, or the dimensions just won't work for future projects, then I can try and do something with the scrap wood. And in this project, I'm using beech wood from old floorboards, and utility wood left over from an outdoor bench project. There's no getting away from it. This is me struggling, as ever, with the clamping of far too many pieces of wood. And it's hot indoors, so the working time of the glue is not that long. I've got to do it quickly. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of people around, so I couldn't ask for help. All I'd say is don't be afraid to ask for help. I mean, I've got a lot of workers that barely scrape five foot in height, and they're often too embarrassed to ask me to get pieces of wood down from the top shelf. And I guess that's the problem when you're short-staffed. They're rough cut and then plain to 15 millimeters, but only in one dimension. They're left slightly proud in the other. The plain surface is then glued together in groups of six, alternating that sequence of beach and utility. Everything's clamped under pressure for 24 hours. And in leaving one of those dimensions slightly larger than the final requirements meant I could sand down the surface of that six block group before the final assembly into the um, pre-cylinder form. In this stage, the alignment of each section must be accurate, otherwise the cross-section will look really messy. But there you have it, a Battenberg of real wood. A glued piece of utility is used at one end, and this will become the tenon, just makes it easier to process on the lathe. As I said, this is an easy wood turning project that an amateur could appreciate. It's a great project to hone your skills on. And after all, there's no hollowing involved. It's only external wood turning and processing. And if your lathe isn't big enough for a full size baseball bat, then you can turn a softball bat, or I think the equivalent is a rounders bat in the UK. And the latter is only around 18 inches.
Obviously, you'll need to get the square profile into a cylinder. Then you can mark out set intervals along the lengths. And between those marks, you'll then turn the piece down to the final dimensions, which will obviously be varying along the length of the bat to give it its final shape. If you leave it oversized, you can always take more off if the weight doesn't feel quite right or the balance isn't to your liking. I found myself wondering whether the standard sizes were a little too small for a laminated wood system. My fear is that it would break apart on the first swing. Well, I guess there's only one way to find that out. I used a drill for the sanding, starting around 80 grit and working up to 240 grit, then applying a sanding sealer and increasing the grit to the final smoothness. Now everybody says that you need to use a polyurethane coat on the final finish for a baseball bat, so I used a polyurethane coat. Now the whole process took a few days and that was mainly waiting for the glue to dry under pressure. Whether the final thing is actually worth $150, I guess will come down to the person buying it. But a custom-made bat with a home-run hitting pedigree probably would still require an endorsement from some professional or a very clever ad campaign. The tenon is removed and the end of the baseball bat is shaped, sanded, and then finally sealed. But there you have it. And if you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them below and click on the like and subscribe button whilst you're at it. And now for some final images. It's gorgeous, perfectly balanced, a real sense of style and sophistication. And the baseball bat is good looking too. Thanks, Adrian. And so I find myself at the Boys Brigade, Eastbourne, 3rd Division, Sons and Parents Baseball Bash. I didn't get much footage as I was a little too involved in the game. However, we did manage to film Carl with my wood turn baseball bat hitting a home run. He did, however, have to pick up a slower runner on his way through. Why he then pushed the slower runner to the ground and then cheered is a question we may never know the answer to. Joking aside, a good time was had by all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you next time.